we want to thank Guy out of Florida, 8 inch telescope. And here's why you should drive. It's the best thing I've seen so far, and it's almost basically it is the ninth now. So the idea that we'll have to see what we get tomorrow of anybody that gets anything that uh, gets close to the moon. And as you can see, it's going in front of some of the stars in his shot of the telescope. It's an 8 inch telescope he said he's got. Uh, I don't think he said a name brand or anything like that. So, I don't really need to point to it. I think you can see it. And he pointed to it a little bit. I think you'd rather off just uh, see it going through the space there. I think he'll have a pointer going back to it here in a minute. I'm not sure how long he followed it. There, he's got a pointer. You don't need to see me throw my pointer around up there. So this is Beano Black, folks. You got some footage. Uh, it's kind of a croc that's slow. S-L-O-O. -O, and then I don't know if it's got a W behind it or not. I can't remember. But the idea that we were sitting there watching that like I had in an earlier video tonight. And the idea that if they were shooting from Tucson, they'll get it tonight sometime when it gets up by the moon but them being able to shoot up there during the daytime hours because it was daylight down there I don't know what the hell they would have been seeing because as you can see right now the only way this guy's capturing it is is it's dark and he got lucky in Florida to be able to pick it up so I suppose it's coming in from the east southeast i.e. Uh, note that the idea that I'm going to go up here and point at something, but uh, i.e. note the movement right here of something. He's following it down there. You can't miss it. It's right in the middle of the screen down there. As he pointed, had the, he had the pointer to that earlier, but it's kind of neat how some of the stuff pops in and out. So, have some fun. Get yourself an 8-inch telescope. I might get one at somewhere. Pawn shop, something like that. Use second hand. Good shape, something like that, or eBay or something like that. So, that's his website, and we thank him. So, let's play it one more time, real fast. And he's the first one. We had a guy. There's another guy. As a matter of fact, I'll just throw it on this video since it looks like it only took three minutes and we'll hit six minutes coming in. Coming back around. So, uh. So that's pretty much it. So idea that I suppose if it was to hit the moon it could do some damage but otherwise it's just going to be pretty neat you know it's got some good size to it to go and buy some stars so the idea that going by the moon it's going to be noticeable so it'd be interesting to see what we get I'll hurry up and pop out of here and we'll go to All Guard I'll go to the Fireball Network and see if we get anything there but the idea that Fireball didn't show anything after 12 UTC on the 8th and that was way early I mean, way late tonight, around 10 o'clock, 10 on Central Time, I was looking at that, so. So I'm even kind of guessing at the idea of the size of this thing. If you can pick up something like that on an 8-inch telescope out there in space, that the idea that that's a size on this thing, if you rethink about it, is the idea that I don't go for the uh, aircraft carrier size, uh, 400 meters. I go for the 4,000 meters that the one guy said it was. So, and this guy from Carolina, you'll see in a minute, I'm going to play his. He caught it two hours early at 445, and I think it probably some kind of a relative or something, if he's actually got footage of what he got, because it would have been something that was way lower in our atmosphere and something that basically might have been an asteroid and hit the ground. Because he got it from 
not looking through an 8 inch telescope like this guy got this. So it's going to be interesting here. Uh, I'll show you his. And I don't mean to debunk that guy if he hasn't got what he's got, but this guy looks, this looks pretty legit here. So, and the tail for a few seconds and minutes here, it's this size thing here. I think NASA's really been blowing our smoke up our every orifice here because the idea that uh, this sure the hell looks a lot bigger than a 400 meter object in space. Okay. So, let's check the guy out in uh, Carolina's footage. Alright folks, we're going to move forward to basically this is a still photo that he had. This is the footage that he's got. Back it up. There, this is where his footage starts. There's a still, sh still shot and then he'll go to the video. Screw NASA. So, we'll end up finding out tomorrow. There'll be more people. So anyway, folks, it looks like he caught something. Either that or he's caught us in the milk like a fly. Because it looks real. So, but it's still kind of, I don't know. We'll end up finding out. He got this in Carolina. So. So that's the footage I've been able to get down tonight. That's been put up on YouTube. So here's Vino Black with my standard legal disclaimer for the whole video. So we'll see if I can add something on to the end. This is our friend from Arizona Public, folks. He's on YouTube. Arizona Public. And he does a real good job. And he also gets the circular up here by the sun. We'll see what else I can get here that's glitching a little bit on the play. So, folks, he has caught the baby planet. Okay. He's got the baby planet. He had a welder's mask in front of it.
and I gotta pause our recording to make sure that he comes playing through all right okay folks so I'm really encouraging people to go out and record the Sun as much as you can if you can get a hold of welding glass because check what out what he is catching here he is getting there's a circular there okay folks he is getting what we've been looking for with the shade that he had at the Sun down there and he does have the baby plant here, folks. This is not superimposed anything, okay? He actually has caught what we've been seeing down at Nehemiah Station, okay? So you can check that there out. That is awesome there. And he gets other features through here, too, like here, here. And there is also, on, I keep on, every once in a while, I've caught the circular here, and I just don't got it coming right now. Let's hit play. No, he caught the baby planet, folks. And he's also, at the beginning of the video, he's got the baby sun up here. Okay? It's 435. Okay? See the baby planet? The baby sun. The China got. See? Yeah. See? That's lens flare. Not this, folks. Yep. That is not lens flare. And he had the baby sun here. This is 4 something, 45, 435, he said he recorded it. We know that it, from 1 UTC to 3 UTC, and then on to like 935 UTC, which is 6 hours ahead of East Coast, or actually 6 hours ahead of Central's time, okay? There's that baby sun over there. And now you're also going to notice that the sun is not totally perfectly round. So anyway, folks, our f our buddy at Arizona Public, and dude, I apologize for your s emblem, because I can't, in order to get it to play good with Java, I can't show your whole emblem, dude. So Arizona Public, we all go out to you, dude. We love this footage. This is awesome. Okay, and then you can also see here, 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 and I'm pretty darn, I'm beginning to believe that this is the object that we've seen in that this the baby sun on the NASA footage because it sure looks like it's got it sure looks like it's got fast rotators around it now there was a circular over here I'm trying to lean back on my chair and see if I can see it but there's some circulars over here and he's also catching this up here and I apologize folks but it's like somebody's screwing around with Java or something like that it's just it's if they know that screencast or some kind of feedback that they're getting and they can go ahead and screw around with it because it's screwing up the feed here on playing it I've got it playing and it won't play right now it's just locked up let me just play with it some more so here we go it unlocked so we really want to thank Arizona Public here and as you can see folks Either that there or they're chem trailing. Okay? Because either they're chem trailing here, that there, they're either chem trailing or the idea that that's part of the asteroid belt that we've seen up there by the sun. Okay? But we've always seen that up high, I thought, you know, but that could be part of what we've seen in some of the space footage that we had. This is Beano Black, and I'm sure I'm glad Arizona Public. And I'm going to get a hold of Arizona Public and thank him for the footage and show him that basically I guess I'm subbing, I guess, or something like that. But uh, standard YouTube license, so the idea that just when we want to get this out there. And you can see that he has got one of the suns and like Alaraf and the Supergiant Suns and everything like that back because that is the baby planet, folks. That simple. I'm better off just to run the cursor here and go backwards through it. Sitting at about 40 seconds left. And folks, he's got the baby planet. It's You can't superimpose in a video like that, moving along like that. And it's just straight out, it's there. It is the baby planet. He showed us the sun flare. He's definitely got some uh, filming abilities because he was able to show the word that's you know show flares and that's not a flare folks that is the baby planet always watch into my videos folks here it is bam there it is there's circular right here with the one in the center folks right here and then in the center so check that out 